Good morning, friends. How are you today? Today is Wednesday. Thanks for joining me for school. While we wait for all of our friends to join us, let's do Everybody Clap by Nancy Kopman. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. And everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet. And everybody go peek a boo. 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 And everybody go side to side. Everybody go side to side. Everybody go side to side. Everybody go. Everybody go one, two, three, woo! Go one, two, three, woo! One, two, three, woo! Go one, two, three, woo! And clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Thanks for doing that song and dance with me. Okay, let's wake up Barbara. She's so excited to see you today. When I count to three, we'll say, hey, Barbara. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, Barbara. Good morning, friends. I'm so happy to see you today at school. Let's sing hello to our friends, Barbara. Ready? Hello friends, hello friends, how are you? How are you? We're so glad to see you, we're so glad to see you here at school, here at school. Can you sing to me? Hello Miss Ashley, hello Miss Ashley, how are you? How are you? We're so glad to see you. We're so glad to see you here at school. Here at school. Can you sing to Barbara? Hello, Barbara. Hello, Barbara. How are you? How are you? We're so glad to see you. We're so glad to see you here at school here at school. Thanks for singing that song with us today. Barbara, our letter today is R for rainbows. Oh, I love rainbows, Miss Ashley. They're so fun to look at in the sky after it rains. I like to look at rainbows too, Barbara. All right, we have lots to talk about for farm, so we'll say bye to Barbara. Tell her bye, see you later. Goodbye, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, let's do our zippy weather song. Look out your windows to see what kind of weather you're having today. Where I live, it is cloudy. So I will sing plenty of clouds in our song. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what's the weather today? Plenty of clouds headed our way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. I wonder if it will rain later today since there's lots of clouds in the sky. Hmm. It rains a lot in spring, doesn't it? I like when it rains. All right, friends, today we're doing letter R for rainbows. Do you remember when we talked about rainbows before? That was one of my favorite lessons to do with you. 
So maybe after school today, you could use some crayons to color a rainbow picture. If you have some blocks like this, maybe you could use all the rainbow colors to build something. Or maybe you have some rainbow letters, the magnet kind that go on your fridge, and you could build some words with your letters. That would be fun. Or you could even do a rainbow craft. Remember we made this rainbow together using glue and scissors and colorful paper. You could do that too. Maybe you have some rainbow toys around your house. I have this rainbow glitter wand. Ooh, can you see that in there? Whoa! So after school, there's lots of activities you could do with rainbows. Maybe you even have clothes that have rainbow colors on them too. I love R for rainbows. So let's do the letter R song with Jack Hartman. Let's learn about the letter R. R is a letter. R is a letter. R is a letter. R is a letter in the alphabet. This is an uppercase R. Write it in the air like this. Can you do it? This is an uppercase R. Write it in the air like, like this. this with your finger. This is a lowercase r. Write it in the air like this. There's my r. This is a lowercase r. Write it in the air like this. Letter R is a consonant and it has a sound. Letter R is a consonant and it has a sound. I say the R sound. Now you say the R sound. At the beginning of these words, listen for the R sound. By the river, 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 there was a rhino, 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 who loved to read, 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 on his raft, raft, raft. Ooh. I heard lots of R words in the song. Did you hear any words that start with R? I heard him say river. Have you ever been to a river before? River starts with R and it ends with R too. There's two R's in river. There was a rhino by the river. Ooh. Rhinos are big animals. Rhino starts with R. That rhino was reading. Can rhinos really read? No. I love to read books. Read starts with R. And that rhino was in a raft. Do you know what a raft is? It's a kind of boat that you can go in. A raft. Raft starts with R. And what about rain? Does rain start with R? It does. And rainbow starts with R too. 
There are lots of words that start with R. Okay, we have been learning so many letters together, haven't we? We've almost learned all of the letters of the alphabet. Wow. Okay, we've been learning all about the farm this week, haven't we? We talked about animals that live in big red barns. Yesterday, we talked all about cows. And today, we'll learn about the sounds that farm animals make. So we will sing a song together about the sounds that farm animals make. And I want you to say the sounds with me, okay? I'll hold up a picture for every farm animal. And we'll sing a song that goes like this. The cow on the farm says moo, 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 moo. The cow on the farm says moo, moo, moo all day long. There's our cow. The pig on the farm says oink, 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 oink. Oink, 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 the pig on the farm says oink, 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 all day long. You can also make another pig sound like this. Can you make that sound? That's such a silly animal sound, isn't it? Here's our next one. The horse on the farm says nay, 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 nay. Nay, 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 the horse on the farm says nay, 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 all day long. Look at that pretty horse running. The duck on the farm says quack, 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 quack. The duck on the farm says quack, 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 all day long. The dog on the farm goes woof, 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 woof. The dog on the farm goes woof, woof, woof all day long. And here's our last one. The sheep on the farm says ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 the sheep on the farm says ba, 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 all day long. Great job making all those animal sounds with me. You are really good at making animal noises. So sometimes on the farm, animals get really dirty. Do you ever get dirty when you play outside? I do. So I have some farm animals that got really dirty this morning and I need your help to help me clean them. This is something that you could do after school today. If you have some pretend animals and they got so dirty. I went outside and got some dirt from my yard and mixed it with water to make mud. Ooh, look at this animal. He's all muddy. <gasps> and a muddy pig. Ooh, pigs love to roll in the mud. And a really dirty dog. So all of my farm animals are really dirty. And I have some soapy water to clean them and some plain water to rinse them with. And when I clean my animals, I like to use things like a sponge. You might have a sponge like this, or maybe one like this. I also like to use old toothbrushes to scrub my farm animals. Can you help me clean these animals? They're so dirty. All right, let's clean the dog. He's really dirty. Get your sponge or your toothbrush and help me scrub, scrub, scrub. This is one of my students' favorite things to do at school with me. We clean the animals. Sometimes we clean our pretend kitchen dishes and food. Oh, we have lots of fun doing that together. All right, let's check out our dog. Is he clean? 
Ooh, he looks a lot better now, doesn't he? Woof, woof, woof. Thank you for cleaning me. <laughs> My farm animals are so silly. Can you help me clean a pig? He is super dirty. Ah! All right, get your sponge. Let's use our toothbrush. Can you help me scrub, scrub, scrub? Scrub that pig. Get all the dirt off of him. Oh my goodness. And we'll give him a rinse and dry him off. Animals take baths just like we do, don't they? Oh wow, now he's all squeaky clean. <laughs> okay, so if you have farm animals and dirt, water, soap, and sponges and toothbrushes, this is a fun activity that you could do after school today. You could wash your farm animals. Thanks for helping me clean those dirty farm animals. All right, so remember yesterday we worked on our farm mural. So we added a barn yesterday and today I'm going to add a cow to my mural. This is a cow that my nieces taught me how to draw. They are really good at drawing and they taught me how to draw this cute little cow. So I'm going to cut out my cow and use some glue to add him to my mural. Can you help me sing the scissor song while I cut out my cow? Ready? Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Open, shut, open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Did you cut out a barn yesterday to add to your mural? I'm gonna add my cow now with some, a glue stick. Take off my lid, twist it just a little bit and put glue all over my cow. And then I'll stick him on my mural. Like that. <gasps> wow! Now I have a cow and a barn on my mural. And tomorrow we'll add another farm animal. If you're making this mural with me, I would love to see a photo of it so we can see your farm mural. All right, let's check on our ladybugs. I was looking at them this morning. They're not really crawling around as much as they have been. I think that means they're getting ready to turn into pupa. There's always one up there at the top. Here's one that's crawling. And one that looks like he's starting to turn into a pupa. It looks like they're getting ready to transform. I can't wait. All right. I would like to read you a story called Mrs. Wishy Washy's Farm. And this book goes along with the activity that we just did of cleaning the farm animals. That's where I got that idea from, is this story. And this book is written by Joy Callie and illustrated by Elizabeth Fuller. She drew the fun pictures in this story. This is Mrs. Wishy Washy's Farm. I like her name. It's a silly name. Here we go. This is Mrs. Wishy Washy and this is her farm. Here is her house and her truck and her barn. There's her house and truck and she has a red barn. Here by the barn is the old tin tub where all the animals go for a scrub. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, moo, the cow cries. I hate this old tub. I've got soap in my eyes. Ooh, do you ever get soap in your eyes when you take a bath? It really hurts. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. The pig squeals, 
have a bit scrub from my nose to my heels. Wishy washy, wishy washy. Quack, the duck moans. I've got suds in my feathers and aches in my bones. Do they like getting washed? I don't think they do. The scrubbing is over. The tub goes away. No more washing, the animals say. Moo, moo. Ee, ee. Quack, quack, quack. Bye, Mrs. Wishy-Washy, mean old Mrs. Wishy-Washy. We are leaving you and we won't be back. <gasps> They're leaving her. Fast down the highway, they run side by side. Where will they go? Where will they hide? Eee, the city, squeals the old pig. We'll go to the city where the barns are big. Do you think these are barns? I don't know. Those kind of look like city buildings, don't they? And farm animals don't usually live in a city like this. Uh-oh. But the city is as wild as a farm stampede. There is nowhere to rest and nowhere to feed. I don't think that they belong in the city, do they? The three hungry animals walk into a barn. There's food on the dishes, but it's not like the farm. The cow looks around with an anxious face. I think we could be in the wrong eating place. I don't think that animals go to restaurants to eat. Along comes the cook with an angry shout. You'll be roast on toast if you don't get out. Uh-oh, they better get out of there. They run for their lives to the barn next door and find themselves in a hardware store. Oops. Do you think they should be in that store? No. Then a van pulls up in two shakes of a tail. It's the pickup van from the animal jail. They're taken away. Oh, what bad luck for the cow and the pig and the poor old duck. Oh no, they got taken away. They sit in a huddle, hungry and pale, in the cold, muddy cage of the animal jail. Then the unhappy cow and the pig and the duck hear the chug, chug, chug of the old farm truck. <gasps> they heard the truck coming. Who do you think is in the truck? They moo and they squeal, they quack and they cheer. It's dear Mrs. Wishy-Washy, she is here. <gasps> they look happy. Far from the city and back on the farm, the animals run to the old red barn. Now Mrs. Wishy-Washy fills up the tub. Come on, you three, you need a good scrub. You think they'll be happy to get washed now? Oh, bliss, says the cow, and she jumps right in. Oh, bliss, says the pig with a happy grin. Oh, bliss, says the duck, splashing in with the rest. There's no doubt about it. Home is best. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Now they're happy to get washed, aren't they? They're happy to be home at the farm away from the city. The end. I hope you liked that story. That's one of my favorite ones to read. All right, here's my letter R page. I did my uppercase and lowercase R's and I wrote R is for rainbow, red, and road. All of those start with R. It's time for us to say goodbye now. Will you help me sing the goodbye song with our clock? And since we did R for rainbow, let's sing our rainbow color song while we look at the colors on the clock. Ready? Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Don't forget there's purple too. Put 
these colors in a row. That's how to make a big rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Don't forget there's purple too. Great job singing that song with me. Do you see the farm animals on the clock? The cow and the pig and a chicken and a horse and a dog. Lots of these animals live on a farm, don't they? Okay, let's sing our goodbye song now. Goodbye now, goodbye now, the clock says we're done. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye everyone. Thanks for coming to school with me today, boys and girls. I hope you had fun playing, singing, and learning with me. Remember, after school, you can work on your farm mural, you can do rainbow activities, and you can wash some dirty farm animals. I think all of that would be so fun to do. I'll see you tomorrow for more school. Have a great day.